Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. This is a tutorial for the song Here As In Heaven by Elevation Worship. Uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna say this. This song is sort of an exercise in restraint if you're playing on guitar, or really if you're playing anything, because uh, it's really easy to overplay, to overstrum, to get too big or too, uh, sort of strum too hard or too intense too fast. You really need to let this song breathe, and uh, it's a really slow, kind of melodic, kind of a ballad. Less is more with this one. The song on the album is in the key of D, but I found that it's a lot easier to sing uh, for me, and especially on acoustic, uh, in the key of C. So I'm gonna teach you the key of C today. If you wanna play with the album, you can transpose it up to D. That's not too difficult to do, or you can put a capo on the second fret. Uh, but the chords we're gonna use are C. F, and I like to play this variation of F, G, A minor, there's a D minor, there's a F over A, so if you're playing this F, just take your, your uh, pinky and ring finger off, I like to put my ring finger on the D string, third fret, but you want this high, this low A to ring open. And it gives that chord just a bit different feel with a different root note in it. If you uh, have chord charts or you find them online, uh, we don't have charts for this song currently, but if you find them, you may see like a G over C if you're playing in this key. Um, I often will just play a G there. And you also may see an E minor over G, and I will often just play a G there pretty much all the time as well. I find that it works really well. Um, sometimes I like to just play this part of the G, and it kind of gives it that that minor-ish kind of a feel. You can also play the minor, the E minor, here, and then put the G in the root. But I think it's just a lot easier to play it like this. You wanna mute the D string when you do that. Let's talk about strumming pattern. Again, this one you're gonna really wanna pay attention to the dynamics. A lot of the song, you can actually just kinda play whole notes and then sing. Really let the vocals take the forefront. Uh, in sections, I like to build with eighth note down strum. So one and two and three and four and one and two, okay? When you get real big, you can kind of use this basic pattern. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm gonna slow it down. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. This song is long and it has a lot of repeating elements. If you have a really big band and, and you can do a big production kind of a thing uh, and pull that off and make it really feel not boring, <laughs> then go for it. A lot of times with songs like this that are really long and sort of kind of mellow, um, it can feel really boring when you repeat elements a lot. So um, not to say that it's a bad thing to do, uh, you just have to do it right. And if you're in a, in a smaller environment, maybe on acoustic or with a smaller band, um, not a very large uh, team of musicians, it might be a good idea to shorten it and take, take sections out or don't repeat sections, which is exactly what I did in my acoustic playthrough video, which is a link below, or there's probably a link that popped up here. So you can see uh, I shortened this song by quite a bit. On the album, they repeat the verse. Every time they sing it, they sing it twice. I just did it once every time I sang it. Um, on the album, they also have a really long guitar solo section, and I shortened that down to just four uh, measures, or maybe eight measures. I played through the progression twice. Um, so you can feel free to do that and so that it feels right for your environment. I'm just gonna teach you the different sections and how to put them together. So the intro, uh, I started where like the piano comes in. So the synth thing kind of dro drops down and the piano comes in and it comes in on an F. It's a whole note, just strum it and hold it to C. You can even just kind of finger pick the chord. Just let it ring. It gives it a real nice, soft feel, okay? And then in the verse, same thing, F. The atmosphere is C, changing to G now. Back to F. For the spirit of the Lord, C, is here, G. Back to F. 
the evidence is C all around G. Here's the F over A. For the spirit of the C, Lord is here. And then I went into the chorus. But uh, it goes like this, so starting on the verse. The atmosphere is changing now. For the spirit of the Lord is here. I'm not playing much. The evidence is all around. F over A. For the spirit of the Lord is here. Then you come to the chorus. F overflow in this place. Fill our hearts with your love. A minor. Your love surrounds. That's your E minor over G where I would just play a G. Us. F. You're the reason we sing or we came to encounter your love. A minor. Your love surrounds us. And then F. To C. And then you're back into the verse, which is the same verse again. I'm gonna play the last line of the verse into the chorus. That the Spirit of the Lord is here. Here's the chorus. Overflow in this place, fill our hearts with your love. Your that turn around F to C back to the verse the atmosphere is changing now after you play the second verse you do the chorus twice and then you come to a solo section that doubles as your chord progression for the bridge and it goes like this F for seven beats four five six seven then G a minor two three E minor over G which I just play the G do it again. F, two, three, four, one, two, three, G, A minor. G. Here's the bridge. Spirit of God, fall fresh to G on us, A minor. We need your presence at G chord again. F, your king. Come, your will to G be done, A minor, here as in G heaven. Okay, so I'm going to play the last line of the chorus, and you're kind of big by now. You've built uh, two of those choruses up, and then it drops when you hit that solo. So, your love surrounds us. Here's the solo. One, two, three, G, A minor, to G, E minor over G. Here's the F. Spirit of God, fall fresh on us. We need your presence. F, your kingdom come, your will be. Now on the album version, I believe they play the bridge three times. Uh, in my acoustic playthrough, I did it twice. You can do however many of those that you would like that fits uh, your environment best. And when you come out of that, you come to a big solo section. Now this is where the electric guitars are doing their thing uh, and the band is really big at this point. On the album, they did this for quite a while. I didn't even count the measures. I just <laughs> cut it down to eight for my, uh, for my playthrough video. And I played through this progression twice. It's a four bar progression. It goes F, D minor, G, A minor. And that E minor over G thing is just, just G for me. I'll do it again. F. 
D minor, G A minor, G. And then I did it one more time, but with a drop. So before you hit the outro verse thing, you do it again. And then an E minor. And then I'll just play the outro for you. It goes F, a miracle can see happen now G. F over A, for the spirit of the sea, Lord is here G. Kind of repeat that, F. The evidence is C, all around G. F over A, and the, let's assume this is our last time through. For the spirit of the C, Lord G is, here is an F. And it kind of slows down when you hit that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. I will play the last line of the bridge, one time through the solo big, one time through it soft, and then play the verse to end the song, okay? So here as in heaven, A minor. Here as in heaven, solo. Slow it down. Same chords. F to D minor, G, A minor, to G. Here's the verse that ends the song. A miracle can happen now. F over A. For the spirit of the Lord is here. F. The evidence is all around. F over A. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. Okay, that's it. That's the song. It's really not that difficult to put together. It's just learning the different pieces, putting them together. But really the thing about this one is the arrangement and how you're going to build it, where you're going to build it, and how that feels. But I love the way that the vocals really take the forefront in this song because they are very powerful, uh, singing about the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, it's a great song. If, you're, uh, if your church is like mine and you like to do a lot of really high energy sort of songs to open your services, sometimes changing it up like this with a slower song um, and a song of invitation like this is a good change of pace, um, I found. It just gives the whole thing a different feel and the service kind of has a different feel when you do that if it's not something you're used to doing. It can be a cool thing if you want to try that out. Again, thank you so much for watching. If this is the kind of stuff you like on YouTube, hit subscribe uh, below, uploading all kinds of content like this all the time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.